It is a Weight Watchers revolution. They are up in the diet game by making some dramatic changes to their popular smart point system. ABC's Adrian Banker is back here with all the details. Yes. What you got? Michael, when I say freestyle, what do you think about? I think about yeah, yeah, just kind of going off the rails. <laughs> just yeah. doing whatever, well, yeah. Dancing without choreography, right? Well, it's the name of Weight Watchers' latest program. The company says it gives people more freedom while still keeping off the pounds. And their biggest cheerleader, Oprah, is saying, yes, you can. Weight Watchers is blowing it up again. In 2016, Oprah announced she had lost 40 pounds on the popular meal plan, and now she's raving about the mega diet company's new program called Freestyle, saying, when I first heard about it, I thought it was too good to be true. The fish, beans, and corn in my favorite tacos are now zero points. Weight Watchers assigns values called smart points to food, and members lose weight by limiting the number they consume. With the new freestyle program, Weight Watchers is taking foods that will fill people up without costing them precious points. It's not things like cakes, cookies, chips, and soda. Their idea is not that you can go on a free-for-all or that there's free foods, but rather choosing foods that you're not likely to overeat. Weight Watchers has always had zero points foods like celery, carrots, and fruit but 200 more items have been added to their menu, including low-fat yogurt, peas, corn, eggs, adding freedom and flexibility. Alexis Eggleton has lost almost 95 pounds on Weight Watchers and was part of an early group to test the freestyle program. You think, well, I can't go out to dinner because I'm not going to have options that are going to fit with my, my, my plan or my program. By having things like seafood and chicken and turkey be zero points, you're actually able to eat the foods that you need to really fuel your body and at the same time get to eat the foods that you want to indulge in. To counteract the extra calories people will be taking in with the zero points foods, daily points totals go down, but now there's a point rollover system. Let's say you're allocated 20 points today and you only consume 15. Well, you roll the five over to the next day. So on a Tuesday when maybe you're not eating all of them, you can save them up for something that you want to indulge in later in the week. But zero points don't mean zero calories. It's still gonna take work. You still have to balance your plate. You still have to think about which foods you're eating. You still need to make sure that you're having enough plants. You can't just have all your points coming from cake and cookies and not move your body and not be mindful. So yes, it's all about mindfulness, right? You still have to think before you eat, but the company says by putting more foods on the zero points list that don't need to be tracked, you'll spend less time counting and more time enjoying food and your life, which is what we all want to do. You should enjoy food. You should enjoy your life. I love bread! Like Oprah. <laughs> like Oprah. <laughs> like good. Oprah. <laughs> Better you than me trying to do that. I, yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't have done that either. <laughs> but you know what, Adrian, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.